we mentioned at the top of the newscast an old friend of ours. I had the pleasure of working with him for a few years, our colleague Mike McKinney. And you are looking at file footage showing who our Mike's Miracle Minutes are named after. Of course, the NBC 15 Share Your Holidays campaign was started in 1996 by Mike McKinney. He was a longtime anchor here when I started as a reporter in 2003. He'd already been well into the campaign. At the time in 96, then, he enlisted the help of his friend, Mike Hart, with the Wisconsin National Guard. They partnered up, and each year, it's why we hand out two Be Like Mike Awards to an organization and an individual who embody their giving spirit. And of course, that giving spirit came from Mike's mother, Barbara McKinney, who joins me now every year during our evening newscast. She's here in the morning. She closes it out with us as we near the end of this day. And it's a long day. Tell me what you're thinking about and reflecting on. Well, when you um, did the introduction and Mike started in uh, 1996, it was a year after he moved to uh, Madison and um, he had experienced uh, some of the downtowns, down times in his own life. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that he wanted to do was to give back. And so he has such a generous spirit. And the, the beauty of it is, is that being a news anchor, he got a chance to display his, his openness. And he was like such a jovial person. But he had a heart to help people. And so this is what the two Mikes were able to do in Share Your Holidays. And they both had a passion. Mike was the talker uh -huh. and the other Mike was the worker. And so he <laughs> always pair. connected the worker. And so, um, um, and even thinking back that this is 28 oh, right. years, I am amazed. And so I've been thinking about this all day. And when I get to this point where I get a chance to share with you, I'm just reminded how that little boy, and he crammed so much into his 41 years, and part of that is, is that he is still remembered. It gives me such great joy when people ask me, oh, you're Mike McKinney's mom, you know, and so there is a sense of pride in there. Can I tell you yes. that I still remember him every year because I hang this <sighs> ornament that he gave me before he died. It, I think it was 2005. He, he said to me, you've got to have a black angel on your tree. <laughs> and so every year I hang this on my tree at home and I think about Mike and his generous spirit and how mm. he wanted to help others. Yes. You had conversations with him before he passed. What do you think he would think now seeing, I mean, we have raised almost 70 million meals since this started. And so uh, I always say um, that little black boy had such a dream and his dream was just to give back to the community and how it has grown. And I think of, I've been looking at the footage when it first started, the snowy uh, morning that uh, he and Mike were out mm -hmm. collecting. And I look at where it is now and um, the uh, how it has grown. But Mike planted the seed and every year it is watered by the volunteers, by the donations, by the you know, organizations and the companies. And so every year someone adds another layer to it. And so we're in the 38th year and I cannot wait until the next level is added on to that. In the last 20 seconds we have, what would you say to someone who hasn't donated yet, who is watching right now? I would say to someone who's not donated is, is that um, Madison is a generous community and if in the last 12 months something good has happened to you, your family or someone that you care about, donate it and pay that forward.
give it to someone else. And so how you grow is just that you pass it on. And so if you've not donated, regardless of what that amount is, pay it forward. And so I guarantee you, as you pay it forward, the blessings will come back to you. And so please um, make sure that you make that donation. Thank you for being here with us every single year and carrying on his legacy and raising such a lovely young man. Oh, and sharing I love you. With all of us. I love you too, Barbara. <laughs> we are going to take a quick break, but we are going to have our final meal reveal of the night live from the Alliance Energy Center right after this.